we will discuss today's as uh, a chapter 6 understanding the laptop schematic diagram types of diagram and original device manufacture that is an odm in a laptop if you find a block diagram means whole chip detail in a one page before the schematic diagram there will be a block diagram which indicate the connections of different ics not with the pin out but uh, main main uh, connections that cpu is connected with north bridge like that will be written on the block diagram schematic diagram means complete chip and pin detail connection you can see the schematic diagram that is a complete chip and pin detail connections where hold the chips every pin connection method control ground vcc all those will be shown in the schematic diagram normally the laptop are manufacturing odm original device manufacture or your original design manufacture or original device manufacture the laptop odm means national brand laptop on the market such as dell hp toshiba compaq lenovo acer sony etc none of these companies actually manufacture their own laptop on the board you will found uh, some part number some laptop that is hp cq40 you will found like this model number is this la4117 la4117 is a compal if somewhere is a conta it will be written as daof m9 mb that is a manufacture of conta in ventec their motherboard it will be written like this in a 2012 a conta has a market is 53 means it has been made uh, manufacture the 53.8 million boards compal making 37.8 vistron make like this all models details are given how to identify the block diagram this is a old one boards that is a north bridge with south bridge you can see mainly there are cpu north bridge south bridge io ic clock generator ics audio ic and lan ics audio lan clock generator io south north and cpu ics are there and another power supply ic is also there crt lcds are connections are there the main ics are these in a laptop schematic this type of diagrams you can found but before uh, viewing the diagram you have to understand all the components what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this what is the work of this what the component is this capacitor diode and uh, this is a mosfet this is ics whole we will understand shortly what is the function of this in every 30 40 pages have this type of diagram here written is a which voltage which pin number is there you can identify pin number the component output where the output is going on which page number and at that page number is going what that we will understand see the mosfet symbols will be like this this is a five leg mosfets three leg mosfets okay this is four leg uh, five leg mosfets new mosfet this is a three leg mosfets ye this is a three leg mosfets for this and this is an uh, four eight leg mosfets schematic is like this this is your cpu this is your pch this is fm98 means dell latitude 1558 models diagram is there this is your block diagram this is your motherboard dell inspiron 13z here you can see the pci express connection rx tx to 16 bit 16 bit 16 bit 16 bit cpu vrm section how the cpu vrm section work after we have seen the primary section secondary section all those section is on then the last stage is the cpu vrm section vrm ic getting the power through the win the win voltage will get to the vrm ic to functioning after getting the enable signals this vrm ic regulate this mosfets there is two parallel mosfet of high and two parallel mosfet on low and one coil maybe two coil maybe three coil maybe one mosfets or two mosfets parallel like that it may be combination will be there clock generator and the cpu first of all we will see the clock generator chips what is a clock generator and how it's basically working and then we will go on the cpu connectivity in a clock generator every ic is required a particular clock frequency to run 
and this clock generator is enabled with the help of a CPU power supply that is a VRM saturated. You can see this is a V2000 motherboard that is a CT1 motherboard. Here will be one IC that will be a clock generator IC. This is ICS clock generator IC and it is connected with 14.318. You can see 14.318 clock generator which gives the frequency to these two pins. Here you can see the clock crystal it is in identified with Y4. Here you can see the Y4 is there. That is a 14.318 megahertz. Here also written 14.318 megahertz. When the VRM chip enable the CPU, then the one clock enable signal getting to the clock generator to start. These signals coming from VRM and these will be coming from south. That is a clock power down, stop, PC, CPU. These are the main controller signals. One, these all are the controlling signals. In some boards, you can see like this, the clock generator IC, the crystal will be connected X1, X2, X1, X2 is connected. It's required the power, so whatever the power, it will be connected with the power. Then the clock generator will give the signal to CPU, then GMCH and GMCH furtherly supplied to the DDR RAM. Now we will see the latest boards, that is i3, i5, i7, the clock generator IC will be like this. This is your clock generator IC which give the clock frequency, crystals and the clock generator small ICs. Other function will be that with the help of PCH. Here also the clock enable signal is the XTEL. XTEL means the clock frequency. XTEL, XTEL is here. XTEL 25 megahertz is there. Here also XTEL 25 megahertz are there. Chapter 9 North Bridge and Graphic Chip Section and RAM and LCD Connections. What is the connections of North Bridge and South Bridge? In a older, older motherboard that is a CPU and CPU connected with the clock generator and clock generator give the frequency to the CPU. In a CPU these are the connection in older boards. Older boards means before the i3, i5, 7s where the North Bridge and South Bridge is used. And CPU furtherly connected at that time address bus, data bus and control bus. RAM, you have seen the desktop RAM and that the laptop RAM, the difference between laptop and desktop is like this. And a RAM, there is a different older RAMs are there. But currently DDR1, 2, 3 are running. These are old, old RAMs. Next, DDR2 RAM also cut nearby corner. DDR1 and 2 both are has a corner cut. 200 pin, 200, same voltage will be 1.8 watt. That is a pin 1, 8, 2. You can see different pins power will be there. Okay. Here you can see there is a two slot of RAM slots. 2.5 voltage is supplying from here. See first pin will require SMD DRV reference. Means what we have seen the reference voltage will be there. Half of this 2.5. The 2.5 half will be 1.25. So here will be 1.25 voltage will be there. That is a terminal voltage 2.5 will get to all these pins you can see 9 and 10 there in lcd the inverter is giving the power to the ccfl lamp depend on that and it will be connection the in work of inverter is to convert the AC dc voltage into ac voltage this is the main function and this voltage which goes to ccfl tube and the lcd cable will connect it to lcd in the new latest boards the RAM and graphic chips are connected with the CPU. In a PCH chips, means i3, i5, i7 motherboard, there will be no North Bridge. Instead of North Bridge, the North Bridge connections, that is a RAM and display are connected with the CPU. See, these are the connections. PCI Express graphic chips are connected. You can see it is a 16 bit. So 16 RX 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16. Then RX plus rs minus rx like these signals are there that is in 16 bit 4 wires are there 16 multiplied by 4 is a connection connected with the help of graphic chips the graphic chips have also connection with this in the newer board you can see the connections will be some time connection will be with the help of graphic chips connected with the cpu also and the CRT LVD is maybe connected with the CPU and DDR. In the PCH HM55 chips, this process will be there. Dell 1558, see here the CPU is there and CPU is connected with only the RAM. 
here another connections are given with the help of PCHIC. You can see the LAN, CRT, CRT monitor, HDMI panel, LVDS. These are the connections you can see. Chapter 8 South Bridge and the connections detail. Today we will see the South Bridge in the older board that is a South Bridge and then the newer board it will be the PCH. The South Bridge connections we will see. The South Bridge is connected. South Bridge you can see this type of IC will be there in the older board but in the newer board I3, I5, I7 there is a no South Bridge. Instead of South Bridge there is a PCH controller. In a diagram, when we open the diagram, it will shown like this, the south bridge, north bridge, south bridge and IUIC is there. This motherboard is of the CT1, CT1 motherboard is there. See it is a CPU PCI ID8, ICH4 connections are given here, that is a U3A. First connection is with the CPU, CPU main signal, CPU initializing, these signals is going to CPU through the south bridge connection. There is an USB connection. So USB also required 3 watt for the IC also and the USB signals are there that is USB 1, USB 2, USB 3, 4. All the signal has a USB plus minus plus minus plus minus on the different page. Power management controller. Power management means thermal, power OK, battery low, DNBS on power signal, SUSB, SUSC, power on giving the control signal to IO and all those things is also going from the help of power management. In the new board there is a no space for the south bridge and north bridge. Directly CPU is there and the PCH controller is there. The south bridge is with the help of PCH is the south bridge here. But we cannot say south bridge is the peripheral control hub is there. That is not an ICH also it is a peripheral control hub and it is an integrated control hub.